Legend of Total War here with part 12 of my Rome Total War Let's Play campaign as the Scipio Romans. Alright, so previously we finished off the um, the Egyptians, the small battle at Susa, and since then we've mostly just been waiting around for something to go on. Uh, we took Cordoba, because the Senate told us to, I'm the Senate's bitch, I do as I'm told. They've also told me to go to war with Armenia. I'm not scared of Armenia, I just don't want to take all the fucking map, because then no one else is going to declare the Roman Civil War, which I'm depending on. Because I've... There's not, there's not much left to take. Collectively, the Romans hold probably three quarters of the, ro of, the, of the known world at this stage. But, we almost do our dirty, and the Romans tell me to take this settlement. The, uh, the Senate told me to. And so I will take it. So we go to war with them, which means all the other Romans will go to war with them. And maybe they'll actually get off their ass and do something. I mean, it's taken the, the, the Julii this long just to take Numantia, and Numantia's a piece of shit. And the, 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 what's it called, the Spanish are a piece of shit. Um, whatever. So public order here can come back down. I'm constantly fluctuating between yearly races and monthly races, but whatever. Alright. So what else can we build? Lepsis Magna has cured its plague problems, but more than 5,000 men died in the process. Tingy's going to grow. Oh, wait, no, it's already grown as far as it can. This is good for... Well, hang on, no, no, no. I was going to build up the army barracks here because we need a place to retrain. Gotta remember to do that. Thessalonica. Okay, we've got public order issues here. There's nothing else here that I can build to improve public order. Let me have a look. What the, what the fuck? Oh, because of the culture penalty. Right, well, the, the huge city was built by the Greeks. I can replace a couple of the buildings... I wanted to keep that. It doesn't provide a heap load of, of public order, but be, I want to be able to send my archers here from time to time to get retrained. Just a little extra attack, if we need to. Alright, so I suppose... I guess building this will will hopefully get rid of a little bit of the uh, the public order penalty. That being said, there's not a whole lot of corruption here. And w this is a fairly rich settlement. If we have to pay for daily races, then so be it. Um, although, and I think about it, I do have a pretty expensive garrison here. Actually, I'll retrain them. But they're here to maintain the borders, just in case the, the Macedonians decide to fuck with us again. Now, I could have gone after them and destroyed them, but like I said, I've tried to slow myself down so that the broody I can catch up, but they're so fucking slow. It is can't conquer at the same rate that I can. Not even close to the same rate. Like, I'm going super slow here in this campaign. Almost snail's pace, like. But like I said, this isn't about speed, it's about having fun. I'm having fun, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And if that's the case, then it really doesn't matter. Because it's not a challenge campaign, we're just having fun. The public order is going to be a. Hang on, let me just see here. I never had to build build the um, religious stuff. Let's see, Temple City. It's not good for law, but overall public order is better than Saturn. So I'll keep that there. I'm not too fussed about the loss of income because of an additional 15% law. It's, it's not. Anyway, that makes up for it, so it's fine. Much rather these settlements not require any games, not require any sort of micromanagement once everything's been built. So I'm only going to take settlements if the um, the Roman, uh, if if the the Senate tells me to. Apart from that, in fact, I might even get a diplomat over to them to try and get a peace treaty afterwards. Although they weren't accepted. I mean, if the Macedonians won't accept it, who don't stand any sort of fucking chance against me, then surely the, the Armenians won't. And they haven't suffered any defeats against me yet. Alright, let's move on. Yep, they all declare war. This is to be expected. 
Alright, we'll fight this battle manually. Although, not expecting any real resistance. Oh, look at this, cataphracts. But still, I'm not expecting any real resistance. Now, this is a large city, so we can't build the urban barracks and the Circus Maximus here to try and retrain these units. If I want to get them retrained, they have to go back to Seleucia. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to listen to that. My apologies. Unfortunately, what's done is done. I can't undo that. Over here, what are these up, up on the wall? It's just crappy spears. Well, it says heavy spears, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think it'd be that good. Let's check their stats, actually. It's not bad. They got a high defense. Hard to deny the power of these artillery. I mean, it wiped out half of that unit. The path to victory. The towers are at the walls. Now, if I was in a defensive situation here and I saw lots of siege towers, I'd actually not defend the wall. I would not put units up on the wall. I'd put them down the ground here, and then once the siege towers are on the wall, then put my troops up there. Because I don't want to lose half a fucking urban cohort or whatever um, to artillery fire. You know, rapid fire artillery fire. Now, after we've taken the walls, depending on whether or not these cataphracts are going to stay up here, if they stay up in this area, I'll bring the archers up so they can shoot at them. Because I was keen to see how, how the archers would fare against the most heavily armored unit in the game. Let me just have a look here. What's our armor rating? 19. Grab you, get you up on the wall so you can shoot at these guys. Pretty sure they've got some the cataphract archers, but now is it doesn't time really to concern me. Yeah, those heavy archers, they did, uh, heavy spearmen, they did nothing. Yeah. From memory, large stone walls do not shoot backwards, so... Going around capturing all, all of the... Uh, all that stuff is unnecessary. Stick around, but that's all right. Get up here. Okay, looks like we can hit the cataphract archers from here. I don't know if there'll be as much of a concern. So I'll just just shoot at whatever's closest. Okay, yeah, it definitely does some damage. Then again, of course, we are very high up. So that would increase the amount of damage done. Now, this is obviously not the best archers I've got. 
we've got archers that have you know gold att you know extra um, attack and more experience so they have like four extra attack that is they'd have much easier time piercing their armor this is good taking out two units of cataphracts with no casualties can't complain with that These guys, time to come inside. Actually, no. Let's put the cavalry to the test. We've, it's cavalry versus cavalry. Let's see how they fare. Because it'd actually be a lot quicker for me to send the Praetorian cavalry down south to go get retrained at Susa. Then to send the urban cohort. Well, well, hang on, this one's damaged. Then again, if these guys even take like a handful of casualties, this one will come back. You two, go kill those those guys there. Hopefully their experience will make up for the fact that these guys, the, the cavalry is probably slightly higher quality. Especially on this difficulty. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. So they have two lots of cavalry archers. That's okay, we'll deal with it. Let's look at the stat differences. Alright, so 10 melee attack, 23 defense total, compared to... 17, 28. So they've got much higher stats. But then again, this is archers versus um, very heavy cavalry. Shit. Pretty big defeat for um, Armenia to lose this settlement. I mean, they've only got nine in total, so that makes it eight. Victory! And of course, we exterminated them. Get rid of the Zoroastrian shit. Oh, motherfucker. I said I didn't have to do this for another like six turns. Now they're just going to give me another mission. I wanted to delay it. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Not the end of the world, but. Not great either. Looks like we have to stay here for a while. Now I did want to send some cavalry back to go get retrained, but we haven't taken that many casualties. We'll be okay. Now the Senate probably hates our gut for taking even more settlements, but well, what can we do? Okay, cancel recruiting those. Okay, Spider's public order is for the most part under control. So focusing on getting more money from that would be good. It's already making us heaps. But more would be better. Uh, 
Damascus will grow in time, just leave it be. Bostra, same with that. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I've got some generals standing out here. Have these guys all been retrained? Yeah. So, I think I'll send the next legion over to Greece. Just to defend against this. Um, Alright, what do we need? We need a general. So these guys are fairly young. Who are we going to use? Get in there for the time being. I'll compare them from there. None of them have any command. Let's have a look here. So this guy here is corrupt. No taste of blood. Okay, he's no commander then. This guy's a commander. He's in the pink. And he's teetotal. Alright. Hey, that's actually described for me. Um, somewhat. I'm a party pooper. Give him what he needs. Don't need anyone who's good at defending walls, he won't be doing that. Doesn't need management. Influence is good. Anything that provides extra movement points is good. He doesn't need that. Bonus 30%. Merchant doesn't need that. Influence is okay, because that'll be good once they take a settlement, they, they can manage it. Seems like... Majority of the good stuff's taken. Alright. You're in command of a legion. Alright, so... It still needs six more urban cohort. There you go. So you're nice and young. Hopefully you get a chance to get a good military career in you. And off they go, just to basically sit in Greece and wait for something to happen. I don't think there's anything else to do. I really don't want to fight. Where do I even... Okay, I was going to say where to put the dip on that, but I found it. That's all done, let's move on. What do they want? Blockade the port of Carthago Nova. Well, that's, that's easy, I can do that. Um, I might sit here and wait for a turn or two, just because I, I'm, I'm kind of sick of them constantly giving me missions. Especially ones to conquer. I, like, I really need fucking booty eye to catch up. Or the Julia, I really don't care who. Let's have a look. You see, make sure my standing hasn't fallen any further. I think it really does have a lot to do with the military ranking. So if we have a look at this, and then have a look at military ranking, we can see that, you know, I'm nowhere near the, the Brutii's level of strength. I'm, I'm a little bit stronger than the Julia, though, but the Julia don't have as many territories as me. And they're not as popular with the people. The pe the Senate hate people who are strong with the people. The um, the Brutii, they just need, I think, two more of these. And then they can declare the Roman Civil War. But they just haven't been doing anything in such a long time. Dimitri, uh, just do whatever you want there. What's going on with the public order? Is there nothing else here that I can build? None of these are going to provide any public order. There's no more... Alright, well, what I can do is reduce the upkeep cost from the city, because these, these are costing money. 
and keep it at that. I don't think this is going to increase any further. Oh, it will. Still probably better just to put the games on instead and disband this one. Why not? This is for, yeah. If we were playing as the Julia, I think the Julia, uh, the Temple to Jupiter provides more uh, public order. I think it's 35% happiness, 25% law, I think. I can't remember. Okay, we can pop this back down. Even though Dimitri has public order problems, it's still probably making us more money than we're losing. issues here but for the most part we can handle it and the Armenians have done nothing about it now let's see if we can get a peace treaty with them because I really don't want to go to war with them okay they accepted good yeah no hang on I gotta stop recruiting the wrong units Need them urban cohort. How are we going over here? Yep, they're getting ready. I'll need to send um, another fleet over there to go pick them up. Actually, I've got some ships up here. Yeah, you go down there, you can go pick them up. Also, when you go back to um, to Italy, you can go get retrained. Small number of casualties taken. Good, moving on. Still can't believe they haven't taken Oscar yet. I'm not giving you an alliance. No, forget that. Oh, I have to go to war with them, don't I? Because they've asked me to blockade the port. Well, I don't have to do it for another three turns, so that's okay. What the hell? Where the hell are the, all those brutey eyes? Uh, powerful armies that they were talking about. They're just not doing anything. I can't even see where any of their armies are. There's like a bit here and there. I don't see how they're that much stronger than me. The Julia might end up surpassing them. Okay, they've almost taken Oscar. That's good. They're coming down here to Carthago Nova and they're besieging Scalabus. It won't be long before um, Spain is finished. So... Just get on and get this done. Probably will hurt our standing a little bit. Okay, now because we've got peace with Armenia, let's... Oh shit, is this going to work? I hope so. I'm going to get them back to, to Susa. It should be okay in the long run. We'll probably take a little bit of damage, but it won't be too bad. Out of move, sir. Right, and construction. Let's have a look. the time that okay now what are they doing these guys here moving to Greece oh, we can we can land in Brutio territory that's okay um, and this Navy getting ready to go pick up the troops to go back to Italy That's more than what's actually needed. Alright, um... I've got archers here ready to go. So we get them back over there. 
So what's this? We're getting ready to train Legion 6 and 7. 7 being trained at um, Egypt. Alright, moving on. Blockade the port of Nicomedia. Okay, that's easy enough to do. Oh, motherfucker, I just got a peace treaty with them. Alright, just wait a few turns there. So you need to get down there, get retrained, and then make your way back up before the war starts. Like, I really don't care if they take Arsakia off us. Because like I said, I want to keep my settlements fairly low. Let the Brutii go and take it. Keep building up the Temple of Saturn in the meantime. Looks like the Julii backed off here. They backed off from Oscar for some reason. Playing silly buggers. I don't think I bothered building in every single turn now, because it's getting a little bit tedious. Just ch just check on the regions that have the worst public order. Alright. All good? Is everything all done? No, we still need to land these troops. <laughs> I didn't bring the whole fucking army. Moron. Um, well, you, you just wait there. They'll go back and pick him up. They need to pick him up another 10. Wasn't paying attention there. Why did I only, did I only put half a stack in there? I must have only selected one unit. Oh, right, reinforcements will come. These guys aren't going to do anything in the meantime. Um, and let's just move on. Hopefully that doesn't reduce our movement, because I've seen that happen before. Aye, aye, Captain. Out of move, sir. Good, you maintain that damn siege. I don't know why they're so slow with this shit. The Brutii are doing just nothing. Absolutely nothing. They're able to hold on to the settlements easily enough, but they just... They don't want to expand any further. Maybe they're just trying to um, build up their regions a little bit, because I don't think they've got a lot of money. Maybe I should send them a gift. I think I'll do that. I'll send the Brutii a gift of cash. Because um, I don't need this much cash. In the hope that they use it wisely to either build up their regions or build up an army needed to go and take out our enemies. General. March. Out of move, sir. Same movement either way. So, we've got to blockade the port of... Your faction will not be considered for Senate officers for four years. Well, we haven't failed a mission yet. So let's keep going and keep succeeding with it. We go with yeah, go with that. We want the settlement to grow, but also have public order. No, needs that first. Actually, it doesn't need that. Jerusalem's got very bad public order, but it'll be okay in time. I'm not sure if that's at um, Max Squalor yet. Well, that'll provide a little bit of happiness to help negate the penalties. Probably always need some sort of daily races or games. Drop 
that. Actually, just leave it. No, no, keep it, keep it down. All right, good. And is there anything else? Oh, right, we still need to get that ship back over here. Ready to sail. I captain. What are you doing? I captain. Oh, I see. Attack! Get them over here, and I'll send them via this boat. So I need ten of them on this boat. Okay, good. And moving on. What are the broody I want? And they still do nothing. Okay, so how much longer do we have with this Senate mission? Still got three turns. So I'll blockade it next turn. They've raised quite a large army here. Not enough to beat me. I, I don't understand why the, why the Julii take so long to besiege a settlement. the rest of them. Good, at least we got some experience out of it. Uh, Pokemon, yep, just build whatever you want. Drop all this down now, it should be okay. I think it's at max, um... Hang on, let me have a look at Pokemon. Does it have a large garrison? Yeah, it does. I was gonna say, what the fuck are those cavalry doing there, but I need to click on this shit first. Alright, well at least that keeps it under control. Population growth is completely stifled. And it's costing us just the bare minimum. What? Okay, so when when that's been replaced, that should help get rid of culture penalty. Because no Egyptian stuff costs on oh, that. We can't get rid of that. Oh, that'll also provide heaps of public order. So yeah, it should be under control eventually. Yeah, we've got the Pantheon there. Okay, Tarsus. Big problems here. Needs... Saturn. Fuck, why'd I build all this shit here? Need that. Okay, cool, that's all under control. Now we train this unit and then move on to the next turn. Oh hang on, did we did we already move these? No, okay. Set sail! Out of move, sir! I captain. Yes, captain. I captain. So yeah, they need to meet meet up with these guys probably in two turns. There's no rush because we're not we're not going to go and attack them, but I, I don't know, maybe I'll go up there and fight them and then walk away. If there's not that many troops up here, maybe the Brutii might be a little bit more enticed to come here and take it on. Maybe we'll go and help them out. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Okay, go retrain the unit over here. And let's move on. Surely they're not trying to bribe that. He's trying to fix Spain, House of Brutio. Fine.
Okay, we need to... I think we need to do this now. We probably could hold it off for one more turn, but I'd rather not risk it. So, back at war with Armenia. Just to please the goddamn Senate. The Senate really gets on my nerves sometimes. I think it's supposed to get on your nerves. That way you're, you're forced to go and attack them. That's what the game wants you to do. Yeah, let's improve the races and games here so we can maintain public order even better. Because for some reason this isn't holding down public order very well. All these troops. Probably just due to huge amounts of unrest and culture penalty. I think this guy might be causing unrest. Okay, we no longer need any of these troops here. Because this legion here is protecting them. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, it's under control. Alright, let's build. Still not enough men for us to justify sending the peasant convoy over there to, um, to get to the next stage. Can't increase it any further. Actually, don't do that there. Oh, well, whatever. It, it fixed itself up anyway. No, that's not good. Is there anything else we need to do? Okay, they'll meet up next turn. Actually, what are you? S uh, no, no, go back, go back to here, so you can keep keep getting a larger navy. Oh, actually, we've got a huge navy here anyway. It's all good. Nothing else to do. Let's move on. Looks like my money's actually been going down recently. Maybe I've actually started to get to the point where I've recruited too much. Good, the Julia took that settlement. Now they want us to take Artexata. Alright, so be it. There, which is my command. Unfortunate. Oh, fuck me. Okay, um, how are we going to get there? I don't want to have to go through there. Alright, looks like it's going to be your job. So that's in Armenia. Okay, it's all the same region. Okay, I'm not going to come into contact with any other settlements. Is that a huge city? It's just a large city. Thebes has plague, but that doesn't doesn't matter too much. Maybe the Brutia have a lot of the, their troops like in Italy. Well, at least the Spanish only have three regions left now. If the Julii could get off their ass, they could finish them off. Very slow conquest. The Julia, I think, were there last time. Last turn. Move them up here. I don't want it to... Maybe I just fucking take it anyway. It's just dragging on too long. I don't know. If I take too many settlements, um, the Senate is going to give me really shitty missions like suicide your faction leader. So I really need to slow down my conquest. But it's just not my style. I'm so used to just killing everything in my path. Alright, let's let's build some stuff and then move on to the next turn. Just be patient. There's going to be a great civil war in, in the future. 
Of course we're gonna win it, but at least it'll be a good civil war. No one can stand up to my legions. Okay, at Petra, what we'll do here... Disband this one. And then just re-recruit it. And let's move on. Oh, hang on. Good. So yeah, I'm thinking I might come up here and just fight them. Just to entice the broody eye to come down here and, and uh, do something about it. I don't know. They're, if we have a look here. On the faction rating. They're still growing in strength. So now they've got like 21 regions. The, the Julii have about, I don't know, 16, 17, something like that. Their money's not great. I'm not giving them any money at the moment. I know I said I would, but I thought I was rolling around in cash. And even though sometimes I get a lot, other times I do end up spending quite a lot as well. big pirate force out that way. And still the Julii sit around doing absolutely nothing. Sir. Yeah, you just stand right there. March. And I'll make a decision on whether or not to attack them at a later date. Now these guys over here, I, know, I wouldn't mind punching them up a bit, that looks very punchable. But at the same time, I don't want to be taking any more settlements. I mean, I have to take Artex Arta. If my faction rating goes down any lower, I might give the, uh, the Brutii some settlements. Maybe some of the settlements in Greece. Maybe Byzantium, I don't know. Because that's not a great settlement. I'm paying a thousand in upkeep for all this shit. I just don't understand why they're being so slow. Actually, let me try something. If I was to go and actually bribe the Senate... See if... Like, just give them a gift. Will that increase my standing with them? We've got money. Why don't we test it out? They probably don't have heaps themselves because they've got a lot of armies there. Anything else going on? Okay, Antioch's public order is reasonably good here. Let's try and get more money. Okay, no need for anything to be retrained. Wait, what about the archers that were here? Okay, they need to be retrained. And let's move on. Well, there's definitely a larger uh, Julii presence in this area. They're just really dicking around a whole lot with it. General, attack! Out of move, sir. We should really try and save this to the last minute because they're just going to keep giving us missions like conquer this region, conquer that mission, and then. And then they're going to get so pissed off with me. Like a lose-lose situation. Alright, 
right, so we'll send a diplomat over here to give the Senate a gift of money. Make a single payment of, let's try for 10,000. I think that's reasonable, just as a gift. Did it increase our standing with them? No. Didn't think it would, but I just wanted to test it out. Maybe I'll give the Brutii something to, just so they can get on with it. Yeah, you just stay out here. If anyone comes over here, kill them. Okay, it needs 5,000 more people. Now, there's a whole heap here. That's not 5,000, but we can bring them in at least. That's close to 5,000. Well, sort of. Let it grow probably to 20,000, then disband them, and that should get us over the line then. At least I hope so. Okay, Jerusalem, let's see what we're doing here. Still needs more public order. Cordoba has really shit public order at the moment. It just means the unrest getting even worse. Okay, that seems to be all we can need to do. Alright, let's move on. Hey, look at that, the Brutio are actually going after Themyscira. I don't think they'll win. And even if they do they win, they won't hold it, because that, that's another region that has huge unrest. Since such a small army. Unless they've already fought the rebels. I mean, there's a rebel settlement there. Well, that was a rebel settlement at one point. Hurry up and take these regions. Are you going to come down here and fight? Well, you're not bringing enough. So I'll besiege the settlement and then just, just, hang on, you gotta build the siege equipment. I'll wait until the last turn before actually taking it though. So siege it for seven turns. Yeah, we can't starve them out, it's not enough time. Because otherwise we're just going to keep on giving, being given more and more missions that I don't want. Okay, now we can retrain um, urban cohort from here. Be good if we built that up as well. Okay, so I think I think Petra grew to the next level. Good to get its public order under control. Okay, Bostra. Yep. They'll grow in time. I can't really be bothered getting peasant convoys over there right now. And let's move on. Can't believe they've actually got it under siege. Carthage once again with the plague. It just it gets gets too high in population, that's what happens. Okay, so looking at this now, what are they doing? 
The Julio. Looks like they're preparing an attack on Asturica. I don't know why they haven't taken Oscar by now. They've, they've besieged it like five times. Over here, the Brutii do nothing. Looks like they're, they're sending forces out this way. That's good. They look like they've taken quite a beating. So I don't know. They might actually succeed there. Alright, I'm just going to press enter it without constructing anything this time. I will accept the peace treaty. Because I don't want any trouble. Good, they're getting ready to attack it. Didn't I accept a peace treaty? But they blockade one of my ports again. Yeah, they did. I don't know why they bother offering a peace treaty if they're just going to break it straight away. Especially when they didn't get anything out of the peace treaty. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, we're going to need to go monthly games and races. I don't know why the public order here is just so shitty. It, it really might have something to do with him. Let me just see. If I move him out... No. I, I never use assassins in this game, just like to the point. There are just better ways of, of dealing with situations. Okay, let me just see. If I was to get all of these guys together... Yeah, I think there's enough. Okay, so if I was just to disband all of those... There we go. So... I don't need it, all of these guys now. Just keep it diminished unit, doesn't really matter. Public order's probably gone to shit. Good. Probably could have disbanded those units well before then, actually. Oh well. No big deal. Needs public order. We're mostly just building stuff up on this episode. Waiting for the Brutio and the Julio to catch up to where I am. How's it going over here? Are we, are we done with this? We still need two more. And that's another legion we've got. Um, yep, moving on. Look at that, they took Themyscira. I don't know if they'll be able to hold it, but that's, that's good that they got it. It's another settlement for them. I hope they can hold it. So looking at the Senate, how's that? The Julii have gone down a step. I don't know why. The Brutii just maintained. Maybe it's all comparative. I don't know. How much time have we still got on this? Four turns. Plenty of time. I'll probably just order resolve that when the time comes. Right, let's, let's build stuff. Needs public order. That sort of one's always caused me problems, but that being said, it is actually quite rich as well. If we can finally lower that a bit. Ok, 
Okay, nothing else interesting going on. The Spanish aren't trying to hit us here. What are the Julii up to? They do seem to have quite a lot of troops up here. The, uh, the, the Spanish, that is. Alright, just to teach them a lesson, but we're bloody blockading my ports. Okay, so they've at least built a dock here, so these settlements are being built up. I just wish they'd invade Britannia already. Of course, they'd probably fail at it. Anyway, how, how are we going down here? They're just standing there. What about down here? They're not doing anything. Moving on. They just want to be ultra-passive. They're going to lose the fucking settlement. They're so bad at maintaining that, that region. The AI can never hold Themyscira. Never. Not unless you go there first and build it all up perfectly. And then they have a chance of holding onto it. But then they usually just tax it too high and then they, it revolts. Alright, how many turns have we got left on the thing? I think it's three. Yep. Let's check our ratings. So we're at 176 BC. Holy fuck. Financially, I'm through the roof. Compare it with also um, Armenia as well. Financially, they're broke. Uh, population, we're way ahead. Militarily, the Julii, I think we were neck and neck with the Julii at one point, but then they, I guess they recruited faster. So if we look at our finances, I mean, I could, I can afford to double my army size. So no, let's, let's get another legion ready to go. And moving on. Yep, they lost it. And they lost another fucking region over here as well. Idiot Brutio. Okay, well, let me just fix that region up and then I got it. Do this again. So them losing those regions, that's that's not good. I mean, they could easily get it back. Gladiator uprising, that's not good. So their their rating probably fell down a little bit. Look at their the rating with the Senate really dropped. All right, how much longer have we got with this mission? Two turns. So we'll attack it next turn. Auto resolve should be sufficient. They're probably starved to crap anyway. Although they do have some good units in here. This general is shit. Still, these guys here, they'll they'll make up the difference. I do sort of have half a mind to just give them heaps of regions. Alright, let's do some building and then move on. So we, we need um, access to cavalry here as well, the Praetorian cavalry. My thieves are coming from the plague very quickly. Uh, Jerusalem needs public order, but none of these things will provide any additional public order, so we're just stuck having to pay that. It's still making a slight profit, so it's not too bad. Moving on. So they go over there, take it, lose it immediately, and then just walk home.
Looks like they absolutely smashed the fuck out of the um, the Spanish up that way. That's good. Hopefully they'll they'll take that settlement. All right. Now we need to take this, or else we fail the Senate mission. Just to resolve it. Be fine. Pretty minor damage. Uh, no, I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, if we build this, it should fix it. I mean, this guy has just got no... Just got nothing, really. We need to keep the population down. And the Senate probably hate me even more now. Nope. If it goes down any lower than, than four then I'll probably have to uh, give away a region. So how many, how many regions do I have now? 44. I think this unit hasn't been retrained. Okay. All right, moving on to the next turn. Fine, but you keep breaking it. They broke it again. They're, they'll investigate my faction for accounting irregularities. Well, luckily that's easy enough to do. We're still at war with them, aren't we? Yeah, because they, they broke the peace treaty straight away. I'm not going to accept another peace treaty with them. The goddamn liars. They should, well, they, they were quick enough to go and hit this region back, but they got no interest in taking these other ones. How are the Julia going over here? Oscar is there, right for the taking, and you're just not doing anything about it. Come on. So we need daily games here. Just can't maintain the public order. It'll be good once it grows to huge city, that way we can get rid of most of this culture penalty. But for now, just little baby steps, I suppose. What can we do to increase public order a little bit more? I mean, building that will we'll get rid of the culture penalty on this, and give us a little bit of extra cash. It's not heaps, but it's better than nothing. Help pay for the, the games that we have to pay for. Public order here is fine. Go for the money. Most of the settlements are okay though. Good, that one's growing. Alright, what are we doing here? Um, public order is important. Drop this down. So yeah, build the Colosseum. Okay, so slowly coming under our control here, so that's good. Let's see if we can get a peace treaty with them. Wait, did the Senate give us another mission? Oh yeah, yeah, look. Don't, don't do that now. Wait, wait for the time, because I keep keep giving me shit. Um, let's see if we can get another peace treaty with them. Yeah, of course it's insulting. I took your region and then be like, how about peace? Alright, 
Alright, then moving on. Settlements are growing, and they still refuse to take any more settlements. It's like they reach a certain size and then decide, no, don't want to play anymore. Not going to not gonna be aggressive. This is as far as I want to expand. But I want them to keep expanding. Like I said, if we need to, we can give them the regions. But uh, I, I would much rather them see, see them try and conquer it themselves. I mean, we're playing on the hardest difficulty. It's like there's no chance of actually losing the campaign. How many... Let me see that. If they gain one more, or is it two more before they can... I think it's two more before they can actually try to claim power. She's getting a bloody full stack of peasants in Tarsus. Very, very problematic region, Tarsus is. It doesn't help that this guy is no good. You could build that, but we're still better off just building up all the other public order stuff. Okay, Nepte down here. This is probably going to need a convoy of um, peasants. So I'll start recruiting them here to transport them there, because I doubt it can, it can get to the next stage on its own. That just helps to get the population growing faster. Just disband them later down the track. public order in Bostra. We just need a larger garrison for the time being. Okay, so these guys here, they're ready to go to go home. Well, it's not really going home, but they need to go back to uh, Italy, or go to Italy to be retrained to their maximum potential. So this needs four more, which we have here. So that's another legion ready to go. But I don't know where to put it. Just keep it here. We're going to need some troops ready to defend the Senate when the time comes, because there's a lot of forces here. Alright, let's move on. Don't tell me they're going to actually starve it out. You can see they've, they've got a lot of armies. What a waste of time going to Themyscira. Okay, how much time left do we have to do this mission? Three turns. I just, I just don't understand why these guys are not getting on and finishing them off. Oh, look at this. The Britons want to have another go at them, but um, I'm sure the Julii will just throw them back into the sea. Alright, let's build some stuff. Yep, Jerusalem's always going to have public order problems. We can't do anything about it. People have said at times that farmland causes our uh, unrest. I can tell you right now that that is bullshit. It doesn't. It does cause squalor. It doesn't cause unrest. I've heard so many people say just absolute bullshit claims about what does this and that in this game. It's like they just come up with an assumption, have, make no effort to try and disprove their theory, which is what you're supposed to do, and then just assume that it's the truth because they came up with an idea which was completely wrong anyway. All 
Alright, moving on. Alright, well the Brutio took this territory back. I just wish they'd sort of get on with it and take out these regions. Surely they're still at war with the um, with the Macedonians. Yep. They're just not doing anything. It's really getting on my nerves. Same with this. I mean, you've got them by the balls. Finish them off. Take their territories. That's how you beat them. So they, they want to go back to Themyscira, but they won't hold it. Okay, so we need to blockade this port this turn, don't we? Yeah. I'm kind of hoping they just ask me to blockade more ports again. What do we need here? Public order and growth. Grab that. We'll unlock new buildings. Got to try and get this to 24,000. But at the same time, hang on, we need to get rid of the culture penalty. Uh, well, that's going to provide a little bit of um, public order. I mean, it's not much, but there's nothing else I can do. Okay, once again, just, um, hang on, these guys here, they're in the middle of the sea. Try and get them home. Too bad I can't cue the, uh, the movement a bit further than that. Keep training more urban cohort. We've got the money. Keep them coming. And let's move on. Blockade Nicomedia. Can do. Just wait a few turns though. I've seen I've seen it is possible to get maxed out popularity with the pets uh, with the Senate and the people. It is possible. I don't know how I did it in the past. Would you hurry up and take Oscar seriously, or go up here to Astu whatever the fuck Astu Rica or Carthago Nova, Nova to take a goddamn region? And what are you guys up to here? Yep, you want to go after that territory, which is totally worthless. And there's filthy rich settlements here to take. Let me get a diplomat here so I can speak with the um, with the Brutii people. Maybe they need more money. I don't know. If we have a look at their finances, they're, they're getting close to broke. Same with the Julii. Well, they need to take more territory, you morons. The population... If the population's going up, that means their settlements are growing. Which should be making them more finances. They're starting to go sideways now. Their military ranking's increasing too fast. Oh, whatever. You need to go out there and kill stuff. Get your own men killed. Start the bottom down. Salamis. Fix that up. Carthage. Carthage is the first settlement that has finished all of its construction, has nothing left to do. Well, good for them. Alright, moving on.
ceasefire. No. Every time I accept a ceasefire with them, they just betray it straight away. Fleet ready. Set sail. Boom's defeated, sir. Good, Salamis growing, that's a good thing. Get to Huge City as soon as possible. Alright, so looking at this again. We're, we're kind of catching up to the Julii. They're only interested in fighting these guys out in the field. They have no interest at all in anything else. Those Julii docks. Come on. I, you know, I don't really see that many uh, Roman fleets. Go over there, go kill the Britons. Sir. Guy's getting old. Okay, build that. Now, I want this guy to General. leave the city, just come and stand out here, March. and let them maintain the public order. Yeah, so Carthage is finished. You know, I don't even have half the regions on the map yet. And we've burned through about 200 turns of the gameplay. But there's still another, let's see, how many turns left? 372 um, turns left. Still heaps. So we're not even halfway through the game yet. Um, Alright, that's all we really need to do there. I cap. I Moving cap. on. Fine, I don't care. You guys aren't going to bother me. I don't give a shit. Our is under attack. Oh, come on. Okay, that's actually really bad because I had a mission there that I need to do. Um, how much longer do we have to do this? Three turns. You need to get over there, blockade that fucking port like right now. There's rebels in the area. Um, get this fleet over there. Because there's going to be more missions to do with that. So war. Yep. Funny thing was, the balance of power was in my favor. You can't do anything about it, except re-roll the dice. Quick save and quick load. But I don't want to do that. Come on, hurry up, take Oscar, you morons. Okay, so they've taken Themyscira back. And they've maintained public order for the time being. This is almost finished. So yeah, now we don't need to pump any more funds into Carthage, we just make money off it. Okay, Byzantium. This is turning into a pretty good settlement now. We could probably start disbanding the unit soon, but we just want to need to get the public order and um, stuff a little bit higher first. Alright, moving on. Take Settlements Nicomedia. Be rewarded. They're actually going to give me a reward this time? Let me see this. They must have started to like me a bit more, because usually they try and blackmail me to do stuff. Eruption at Vesuvius. Oh, I didn't lose any troops, did I? Now we're all good. Alright, 
so Nicomedia. Well, if that's what they want, I'll go do that. Oh, I better fucking sneeze. Oh, maybe not. Push this out of the way. Okay, I just want you to um, recruit a mercenary to leave in that fort, because that's actually a really good place for a fort. Actually, could I... I'll just, I'll just move one of them in. Disband him, don't need it after all. Off to Nicomedia we go. No problem there. And of course the Senate's going to hate our guts for taking more settlements. But, you know, they're the ones telling me to do it. Alright, let me train all of these first. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Maybe just check public order. Everything's under control, moving on. General. Okay, besiege the settlement and then just... Actually, well, we can afford to wait to starve them out because we've still got nine turns to do this. Just build the siege equipment anyway. And just wait it out. And there's a lot of this crap in here. Get rid of all of them. And I'd much rather put the games back on. Because that's actually cheaper. Those guys to bugger off. Alright, I think that's the last building for Capua. Syracuse is now finished as is Carthage. Okay, we can I think we can afford to send those those peasants we're recruiting at Lepsis Magna. Get them over to Nepte so they can be disbanded. And um increase the uh, the settlement. Cyrene will also need some um, some assistance there, I think. Cordoba needs public order, not anything else. Um, actually, that will help with pub our public order a little bit by getting rid of the um, the culture penalty here. But we've got everything under control for the most part. Um, yep, they don't want to do anything else. They don't want to... Yeah, it's not, not interested with it. So Themyscira up here, they've got it under control for the time being, even though they've only left one unit there to maintain it. Hopefully they can afford to actually build it up a bit. It looks like they might have actually upgraded the settlement type. Well, whatever. Let's move on. Hey, we lost two faction leaders during the end turn at the same time. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, well, we need a new guy. Oh, shit, he's needed here. Well, I'm sure they'll manage without him. Orders. Onward. Move depleted, sir. Move out. Good. Hatch has grown. Build it up. Still no public order problems. They've got it under control. That's good to see. Still no sieges going on over here. And 
how does the Senate feel about everyone? They still hate it. Hate my guts. Okay, public order in Byzantium is not actually that good. Build those two, that'll help a little bit. We'll probably always need to keep the monthly games on, actually. Because after those are built, there's nothing else I can build that's going to increase public order. Except if there's any culture penalties, then I can possibly get rid of it. Okay, that'll fix public order. Alright, moving on. Go away. And still the Julii do nothing. They sit on their hands and just wait around. I've got half a mind to give them Cordoba. I, just, I don't want to give them anything. It's such a silly thing to do. Still under control, good to see. Just, we're all just sitting on our hands. Yeah, just doing nothing. Still needs more retraining. Build stuff. Actually, let me just check the lowest public order regions. Yeah, they're okay. Moving on to the next turn. Alright, let's check the Senate stuff again. So the, the Julio lost a little bit of standing with the people. So how many settlements do the Brutio I have? Look, look at that, they're going sideways because they're not using their troops. Well, their productivity is, is high. So that must mean they're, um, they must be purchasing buildings. The territory is around 22 or 23. And the Julii are side, going sideways. And, and even then, I'm still growing faster than these guys. Trying not to expand. Only doing what the Senate tells me to do. They need retraining. So what's that? It's like eight legions now. All right. Well, let's build stuff and then move on to the next turn. Too interesting going on here. Of course, not great there. No, it's good here. Okay, um, that's going to need peasants. But once that's built, that'll, that'll certainly help. Okay, Damascus, where we need. That'll fix public order. All good. Moving on. Once again. And are our allies doing anything? Nothing. They just... just they cannot be bothered to do a thing.
Yeah, I, d I don't know what I can do to make them actually give a shit. I mean, I didn't give them regions. I just don't. I don't want to do that. It just seems so artificial. Oh no, it could be that maybe certain AI scripts happen depending on time and that they, they get more aggressive as time continues. That could be it. However, the thing is, we've already had 200 turns in the campaign so far. That's plenty of time for even a newbie, car uh, newbie player to, um, to have expanded this far. You know, trying their best. I'm essentially playing this game with my hands tied behind my back. Yeah, I clicked that. Because that one's getting under control. Okay, good. That's finally being built. That'll get rid of a lot of the culture penalties. Okay, so how much longer has this got till it starves out? Two turns. All good, let's move on. I forgot about the navy I was bringing up this way. Where'd it go? There it is. Ready to sail! So many armies here, they're just doing nothing with it. Good, it's good to see they've got it under control, but they don't seem to be building anything there because I'm not seeing any new buildings popping up. I mean, although we can't see exactly what they've got, we can see the number of, of things that they have. You can see here that like, they're trying to get there, but the path fighting is so terrible they don't realize they have to go all the way around here. Go take Oscar and um, Kothgo Nova in the meantime. I guess you'll you'll uh, take command of this army once he dies of old age, which is not going to happen anytime soon. I don't know, if the Senate commands me to go take those settlements, I'll go take them. I guess they're, we're their bitch in this campaign. The, but also, like I said, the problem is, is that they hate us for taking so many settlements. Because the people love us, they hate us. Okay, Capo has finished all of its construction. Oh fuck, an hour 34 minutes, I didn't even realize it. You know, dis despite really not much going on, I'm still enjoying myself. Um, we're just burning through turns. I'm sure they're not just going to sit around there doing nothing for ages. And if, if nothing else, just with Senate missions, I will eventually have to conquer the remaining settlements. So I'm just going to go through this end turn here, and uh, we'll end the episode there. Okay, the port of tiles. Okay, so we took that region, and they didn't fight for it. Exterminate them. So they want me to blockade the port of Tylus. Of course, we'll come over there and we'll do it in due time. Wait a few turns first. My secret will be exposed. What secret is that exactly? That I'm your bitch? Because everyone fucking knows that. And looking at everything else, they still have no interest in taking on any of this territory. Nope, they are just not interested. Anyway guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 13 I think is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.